when you speak out of anger, uh, people don't listen. You know, they say, oh, there's an angry person, and this is what they're angry about. But does it change anybody else's mind? No. Yeah. Of course, protesters don't like to hear that. But this is, you know, I protested the Vietnam War when I, when I was in college. And, you know, this is the, one of the conclusions I came to is, you know, if you're angry, you may feel good and have a lot of energy and you dump it out. And I'm communicating. Well, communication isn't just me getting what I'm feeling out. Communicating is thinking of who my audience is and how can I say something in a way that will really help that person understand something different from how they're looking at the situation now. You can talk to the people who walk by without screaming, without looking down at them, without telling them they're wrong. You can smile at, at the, the people who walk by. You know, there's a whole different feeling. But when I try and say that, the protesters get so mad at me. You know, it's like, because what I'm trying to do is comment on the way of protesting. Because what happens mostly when you're protesting is I'm here they're there, I'm right, they are wrong, what they're doing is awful, they're completely closed-minded, they're completely idiotic, I've got to yell and scream at them, and that way they will understand and change. Oh, really? Uh, no. It doesn't, you know? Yeah, has that worked? Yeah, that, that's not going to work. I mean, I saw that very clearly during a Vietnam War protest I was in at UCLA, and the guy next to me, we were on one side, the cops were on the other side. The guy next to me picked up a rock or a brick or something and threw it at the cops, and I went, whoa. You know, because when you do that, your mind becomes exactly like the mind of the people you're protesting. Yeah, the state of mind is the same. The only difference is I'm protesting you and you're protesting me and calling you names. But it doesn't change minds. Uh, yesterday, I was giving another talk and I uh, commented about that, um, you know, in terms of the college protests that are going on now. Well... Somebody was one somebody was furious at me and wrote an email saying, you know, it was so interesting because the email was this person, the way they were writing, it was if they understood exactly what I meant and exactly how my own mind worked. You know, you are biased. You, you don't care at all about these people. Uh, you know, don't you see what is going on and why aren't you condemning that? You know, mm -hmm. they wanted me to talk about the situation that's happening in another part in the world. I was talking about the college protests, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and so they understood that as... Me, crit, me not siding with them against mm. what they were protesting, you know, when actually I share the, the same feeling. But the difference, I think, is that because of, of the, the Buddhist training, I don't see it as this side versus that side. When you're a speaker, you get used to sometimes people misinterpreting what you say and getting mm -hmm. mad, and, you know. And and then I'm also I also try and, and greet when I get these emails that where people don't like what I'm saying. Um, um, 
to to just say, well, that's okay. It's a free world. Everybody is entitled to their own ideas, and um, not the whole world doesn't need to uh, agree with me.